Hey everybody, there's many challenges to winter camping. One of the biggest challenges is knowing how to stake down a tent or a tarp. And when someone goes out for the first time, what most people do is pound the stake right in the hard frozen ground, just like they would do in the other three seasons. And the next day when they go to take down their tarp or tent, they'll find that that stake is almost impossible to get out. Now you may get lucky getting one out, but the others will stay there till next spring when the temperatures warm up. So there must be a better way to stake down your tent and your tarp. In this episode, we're gonna look at some of the easiest ways to make your winter camping more enjoyable. Now I'm always looking for the easiest way of doing things. I believe keeping things simple, but there's gonna be times when you're gonna come across difficult situations and conditions that will limit your choices on how you're gonna stake down your shelter. So we're gonna look at the different methods that I would use, starting from the easiest to the last choice that I would use for staking down a tent or a tarp. Now my first choice, let alone do I use it for winter camping, but I use it year round, and it is the best way to pitch a tarp. It isn't so great for a tent, but for me, if I have to pitch a tarp, I'm always looking for this method. And I did a video on this a couple months ago if you want to check it out. But all it is is a piece of cordage that is 10 to 12 feet in length, or 3 to 4 meters, with a loop on one end. You wrap it around a tree or some type of vegetation. And to the tarp. It is that simple but very effective. Now before we move on, there's two important rules I'd like to share with you and this will help you tremendously. And the first rule is, the shallower the snow, the more you'll have to pack it down. The deeper the snow, the less you'll need to pack down. This is important because if the anchor point being a stick or a stake is packed down too much, it's going to take you a little bit of time to dig them out of the frozen snow or ice. Yeah. That's a lot of work, isn't it? It is a lot of work. Got my exercise for the morning here. Didn't even need to check into the club, so. Yeah, they're froze solid in there. They are. Rule number two. The warmer the temperature is when you have snow that will become wet. The quicker the snow will freeze to hold your anchor point, which means less packing snow on top. Now when the temperatures get really cold, the snow becomes like powder, which means a longer time it's gonna to take to freeze, so you're really gonna to have to pack down. That powder snow is gonna take about 20 minutes to freeze to give you that holding power. Now the next method I like to use, if possible, is taking a somewhat of a large branch. You dig and make a trench that is horizontal. With a branch in the trench, Just pack down both ends while leaving a small portion in the middle exposed. With a piece of cordage that has a loop tied on one end, wrap the loop end around the branch and feed the other end through the loop. And pull tight. Then attach it to the tent or the tarp. which makes it quick and easy to use. And when you leave, you just leave the branch buried and no digging out. Now the last methods we're gonna use is called the dead man. Similar to what we just looked at, 
And really there's just basically two items that we're gonna use and that's a stick and the other is some type of a stake. With a stick, I like the diameter about the thickness of a broom handle. But of course you can go larger. And I like the length right around a foot or 30 centimeters. With a dead man, again you wanna dig or make a trench that is horizontal. For those situations or conditions that you may face, it would be wise to apply those two rules that we talked about earlier. There's two ways that I would use this method. And the first one is to tie a knot on the middle of a stick. It doesn't matter what kind of knot. Then dig a trench horizontal, put the stick in there, and pack the snow down on top of it. And that will hold very well. But there's a better way I'd like to share with you. And that's digging that trench out and getting that stick. But also using that cordage that we talked about earlier. Place the cordage halfway down around the stick in the middle. With both ends up. Then pack the snow over it. Immediately pull both ends of the cordage carefully back and forth to loosen the cordage around the stick without pulling it out. Then take the end without the loop and feed it through your D-ring or grommet. Then bring it back and put it through the loop end and tighten. I like to use a simple slip knot or loop knot to tie it off. And when it's time to remove it, you just simply work the cordage back and forth to loosen it. Then you want to make sure that you pull the end without the loop through and free of the buried stick. This is my favorite way to stake down a tent. And again, what makes it so great, no digging out stakes. And the last method is just using stakes. You can take a regular stake and use it by tying a knot right in the middle of the stake and use the dead man technique. Or you can use a snow stake, which works great. They come with holes in the middle to make tying off easier, which provides more holding power. Most of the times you just want to leave this for a few minutes and let it freeze. Do something else and then come back and attach it to the tarp or the tent. But I've left this now for about three minutes. I think it's good. Now a negative or con for stakes is you have to dig them out. And it's a pain on those cold morning trying to dig those stakes out. It's like trying to chisel through ice to remove those stakes. With the tarp set up with four of the different methods, now it's time to take it down. First with the snow stake. Next, the dead man stick with the cordage looped around. Next, the branch that has the middle exposed with the cordage attached to. Last, the cordage with the loop tied on one end.
Now I always try to stay away from using stakes. In the winter time when I'm camping, I've used three of those methods at the same time to pitch my tarp. And if you have any methods that you would like to share for staking down a tent or tarp, I'd really appreciate it. Well, this ends this episode. If you have any questions or comments, please write them down below. I'd love to hear from you. This is the Marine. Thank you for watching and God bless. Appalachian sunrise.